Hi there, welcome to Edinburgh, Scotland. I'm at the grass market here. I am with Mike O'Rourke. Happens to be a friend, but that's lateral to the fact that he's also a local Edinburgh guide. And we're gonna make, a, yep, there, there's the official thing. So it's Go Scotland Tours. Yeah, that's it. Yep, yep. so uh, I had a group of 42 today do a trip with him. So, you know, we can put a link in the, the description. But Mike, we were just doing a live virtual tour and all the big buildings caught it. Well, it caused it to cut off. Where are we right now? Um, okay, well, uh, we're still in the old town of Edinburgh. The Royal Mile is just behind you right there. Uh, this street that we're on is called Victoria Street. This street that we're on is called Victoria Street, uh, better known for Harry Potter fans as Diagonal. All right, should we take a wander down? Sure, let's go. And this is the most photographed street in all of Scotland, I believe. Is that fair Maybe. to say? Yeah, it's very yeah. colorful here. Yeah. Uh, the reason why it's called Victoria Street because it was built during the time of Queen Victoria. So it's not quite medieval, you know, it's not a medieval street. Right, it's Victorian, you know? which is really 19th century. Exactly. Yeah. yeah exactly. Exactly. Can you just tell me to change subject for a second? The big spire in front of us that we can't help but see. Yeah, okay, the big spire right there. Yep. Um, that is, uh, it's now called the Hub. Originally it was the Highland Kirk. Uh, oh, the Kirk. Highland Kirk. Aye. 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 A bit of Doric there. So, yeah, during the 19th century, when there was uh, the Industrial Revolution, mm -hmm. uh, the Highlanders came to places like here, Edinburgh and Glasgow, to find work. And they had churches like this for services in their language. So that's why it's called the Highland Kirk. There's one in Glasgow's, Glasgow as well. Um, and in most cities in Scotland, we'll have a Highland Kirk. It's no longer the Highland Kirk. No. They, so, they moved that service somewhere else. I believe it's Greyfriars Kirkyard that does that now. Uh -huh. It's now called The Hub, right. right? which is a ticket office for the Edinburgh Festival, the Fringe Festival. Oh, right. In August. So that's why it's The Hub. Yeah. Yeah. One, one other thing to tell you about it is the highest spear, or spire, I should say, in Edinburgh. It's oh. actually taller than the castle. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Huh. That's fantastic. And I mean, this architecture here, so we're mostly walking down a Victorian street here and well, it's called Victoria Street it is Victoria <laughs> apropos <laughs> indeed in fact I should come up and just show this little sign over here on the side which uh, it says built between 1829 and 1834 Scotland's most photographed street and beloved or believed excuse me to be JK Rowling's inspiration for Diagon Alley um, so if you are a Harry Potter sort of person then this is going to mean something to you. And you know what, For a f now I love your city and I genuinely love it. I think it's one of the most uh, architecturally impressive cities, well, that I know. This is but where you want to stop for a little bit. Let them, let them soak it in. That, yep. yeah. Because it's not, I mean, it's quite an austere city and suddenly we get a lot of color right down here. So did they just choose to paint these up or was there a reason for it once upon a time? Uh, good question. No, yeah, good yeah. question. I'm not really too sure. I mean, there's lots of colorful houses all around Scotland. Normally, it's the fishermen houses that do that. Yes, yeah, yeah. Normally, the fishing houses, absolutely. Um, uh, Victoria Street, you've stumped me there. Yeah, no, it's a yeah. great, great question to ask. Because, to I mean, I think of uh, like the Boca in, in, in Buenos Aires, you know, that was literally the leftover paint from the fishing boats, right? And of course, the houses were exposed to weather. But look at this gentle but super appealing curve to this city down here. Oh, there's Finnegan's Wake Irish Pub over on the left. But it is, it is really beautiful. So the castle, Mike, is up top behind us. It's just past the buildings there. Yeah. yeah. So we're literally just wandering down to the grass market. Yes. Which I presume was where you got hay for the... For um, the it, it was where the cattle was brought in. To the Highlanders used to bring the cattle into the market to sell, not just cattle, but any sort of. It was like a farmer's market. Basically. Oh, okay. So it's not where they fed the cattle; it's where, like, an auction. Exactly. It's area. where they, they brought them in. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. That makes sense. The but drovers, these... what we call drovers. Oh, drovers. Call, yeah. They yeah. Were called cowboys, right? They cowboys. Call, sure. They call sure. Them drovers over here. That's yeah. that's true. Ah, that's, that's a great term. But, by the way, uh, Harry yeah. Potter fans. Yeah, there. Oh, the uh, you do. Yeah, there's the owl above the window, the enchanted galaxy. I, uh, I have been to that that uh, nine and three quarters platform 
in St. Pancras or King's Cross? Same, yeah, yeah, King's Cross Station. Um, but so much of it's built on here, and Yorkshire too, I think, played a big role yeah, in I mean, that. There, there was no filming done in Edinburgh. It was just the inspiration. Is oh. she was she was here, and she wrote the first pages of the book right. here in Edinburgh. Oh. That, that's a connection. So they didn't yeah. actually film here. No. No. Okay. But there's, she, uh, there's a cemetery here called Greyfriars, and she went around there and she used a lot of the names from there in her book. Okay. So Thomas Riddle, which yeah. is Voldemort. Oh, is that right? Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah I do know that name. Moody, That's... Mad-Eye Moody. Mad-Eye Moody, yeah. And McGonagall, she was Professor McGonagall. Oh, so people were dying to get into the cemetery, <laughs> but it's a... Uh... William oh. McGonagall, you have to look this guy up. He's hilarious. Right. He, he was known as the worst poet in Scotland. <laughs> right? Okay. We have a lot of Will, great... William? William McGonagall. McGonagall. All right. The worst poet in Scotland. So I'll, I'll paraphrase one. Now, it's not the exact word, but I can paraphrase it. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Lo yonder there lay a coup. It's new there the noon. It must have shifted. <laughs> okay, I'll translate. <laughs> okay. Over there was a cow. It's not there now. It must have moved. <laughs> <laughs> that is some that is some hardcore poetry. <laughs> anyway, everyone, I'm going to let you go here. So I want to say goodbye to my friend, Mike. I'm going to move you over here, Mike. It's better than in a big okay. truck. So there's Mike from Go Scotland Tours. I'll be back here in September. And I'll actually be staying just around the corner of the Grass Market Hotel. So keep in touch and, uh, and we'll see you again here. Thanks for subscribing to our YouTube channel.